So now we're going to move on from lists and look at how we can include images into our web page. Of course, before we can include an image, we'll need to get one that we want to include in our page. Now you can use any image you've got on your computer, but I'm going to show you how to do it with an image that we find online. So I'm just going to go to Wikipedia and search for my favorite cartoon character, Homer Simpson. And there he is. So I'm going to get this image and put it into our web page. So I'm going to do that by control clicking or right clicking on the image and then save image as. And that will save the image onto my computer. I'm going to save it in the same folder as my webpage.html file. And I'm just going to change it to Homer to keep it simple, much easier to access then. There we go. So that saved the homer.png image. PNG is a file type for an image. If you have a different image, you might have JPEG or GIF instead. It doesn't matter, they all work the same way, but it is important that you know what the whole file name for your image is. All right, now we can go back to our web page and let's see how we add an image. It's actually pretty straightforward. So we'll get rid of our code for the ordered list. And then to add an image, we use the IMG tag. And this is a self-closing tag. So again, we just close it there. There's not going to be a closing of the image tag. But we do need to specify an attribute for this tag, and that is the SRC, or source. So this tells us, or tells the browser, where the image is and what it's called. So we're going to call it Homer. PNG. You can see that the text editor I'm using here actually predicts that for us because it's looking for file names in the same directory as the web page, which is really handy. But if yours doesn't, don't worry, just type out the file name and then save that and then refresh. And there we go. So now we've got an image right there in our web page. And we can, of course, add whatever other content we want. To this so we might want to put a little label underneath just to say that this is Homer Simpson and that will then align itself underneath the image. So there's lots of ways that you can customize images. I'm just going to show you a few here. So first off what we might want to do is change the size of the image and we might do that using width equals and then and let's say we want to set the width to a hundred pixels. Let's have a look and see what effect that has. So you can see 100 pixels is quite a bit smaller than it is by default, but it nicely scales the image as well. If you didn't want the image to be scaled, you might want for it to be a square image for some reason. So you could then specify the height as being 100 as well, and then that would squish the image up. You can also change the alignment of the image. So if you want it to align left, for example, you can just add align equals left and then it will align to the left of any text that comes after it. Similarly you can align it to the right and then the image will be aligned to the right of the page. The last thing I'd like to show you is that you can actually link to an image directly on the internet. So let's go back to Wikipedia and let's say instead of Homer we wanted a picture of Marge Simpson and this time instead of saving the image as we're going to copy the image address which copies the URL or web address for the image which I've just pasted in there so it starts HTTPS and then has a load of extra stuff and ends up with margesimpson.png so I can actually paste that directly into my source or SRC attribute for the image tag and then that will load it directly into the page. There we go. So that saves us having to download it and allows us to link to it directly on the Wikimedia servers. 
A word of warning though, obviously if you don't have control over the image, they might change the location of it or block you from downloading it for some reason. It wouldn't be a good idea to do this on a production site. And also, this is known as hot linking when you link to an image on someone else's site. And quite often they don't like that, especially if your site is very busy and they start to get lots of server traffic because you're taking the image from their site. So generally, any images on your site, I'd recommend downloading and putting on your servers and accessing from there rather than doing this hot linking. Here we go. So I'll just change that to Marge. And I think I preferred the alignment being on the left. So we'll leave that as it is there. Nice. So we're now going to move on from images and see how we can start to build in a little bit of interaction with our web pages by using forms.